we'll discuss the fourier series now so we'll discuss the fourier series through the given example of the values of t and y first part is to find discrete fourier transform of y so the given number of terms is represented by 2n plus 1 which is 5 so n is given n comes out to be equal to 2 the time period tau is given by t final minus t initial which is 1.6 minus 0 which comes out to be 1.6 so now we calculate the coefficients of the discrete transform ak and bk so a0 is always 0 here and an is also 0 here so as n is equal to 2 so therefore a2 is equal to 0 and a not equal to 0 so we have the values of two coefficient now we need to find the value of a k a k is given by 1 over n summation j equal to 1 to 2 n f t j sine of 2 pi k t j over tau here f t j is y so and the value of k varies from 1 to n minus 1 as n is equal to 2 so the only value of k can be 1 so we have our a1 to be equal to 1 over 2 summation j equal to 1 to 4 because 2n and f of tj sine of 2 pi 1 the value of k tj over 1.6 that is the value of tau so a1 comes out after doing the summation and all the calculations a1 comes out to be 0 0.845419 so for the a part we have a not equal to 0, A1 equal to 0 0.8419 and A2 equal to 0. So these are the value of A coefficients. Now, com now coming over to B coefficients. B not is given by 1 over 2n. Summation J equal to 1 to 2n f of tj this is 1 over 4 negative 5 plus 0 0.75 plus 5 plus negative 1.25 so b naught comes out to be negative 0 0.125 bk is given by 1 over n j equal to 1 to 2 n f of t j cosine 2 pi k t j over tau where k varies from 1 to n minus 1 so as n is equal to 2 the only value of k we get is 1 so we have b1 as 1 over 2 summation j equal to 1 to 4 f of tj cosine 2 pi 1 tj over 1.6 after doing all the summation and the calculation the value of b1 comes out to be negative 5.303381 After this, we calculate the value of 
bn which is nothing but b2 so bn is given by 1 over 2n summation j equal to 1 to 2n f of tj cosine 2 pi n tj over tau so b2 would be 1 over summation j equal to 1 to 4 f of tj cosine 2 pi 2 then the value of n tj over 1.6 which comes out to be 0 0.37044 so summarizing all the values of A and B, we have B2 equal to 0 0.37044 B1 comes out to be negative 5.303381 B0 comes out to be negative 0 0.125 a2 is 0, A0 is 0, and A1 is 0 0.845419. The second part of this problem is we need to write the discrete Fourier transform in the form of yt to be equal to summation k equal to 0 to n ck cosine 2 pi k t upon tau plus theta k so we need to find the value of c k and theta k so the value of c k is given as square root of a k square plus b k square and theta k is defined as the inverse tangent of negative a k over b k so C0, C1 and C2 will be defined as C0 square is equal to A0, square root of A0 square plus B0 square. Similarly for C1 and C2. So these are the values of C. Theta naught will be given as tangent inverse negative A naught over beta naught, which is zero radians. Theta one will be tangent inverse negative A one over B one, which comes out to be zero point one five eight zero eight radians. And theta two comes out to be tangent inverse negative A two over B two comes out to be zero radians so these are the values of the c coefficient and theta so this is how you perform a Fourier series transform on a given on given values of t and y